as the Wizards beat Atlanta tonight. Back into a good rhythm, and defensively, I think we played pretty good. You know, uh, we held them to you know, a small number in the second half, which I think, you know, to win games, you're going to have to play defense. 40 minutes. I was just saying 40 minutes. I didn't know I played 40 minutes, but I feel like I played 40 minutes. But uh, I'd imagine that I'm, I'm not going to be playing that many minutes all of season long. Hopefully the guys start to get a feel for, you know, winning and, you know, maintaining leads and not having no low periods in the, in the course of a game. But uh, initially I figured I'd play a lot of minutes and it's only going to help me get my rhythm early. Well, you heard that, huh? Did he tell you that? Um, he's a coach. I listened. You know, I felt like uh, you know he wanted to see those guys survive without me. You know, and I'm, I'm the type of guy, hey, don't force the issue until the time comes. It's a long season. Let's get a win underneath our belt and see what happens from that point. So, but he, you know, he made the call and I went with it and worked out well. We came out of the third quarter with a two-point lead and getting the ball at the beginning of the fourth quarter. So, um, that was just one of my, my concerns, just finishing the quarter, knowing we had the ball to start the fourth quarter. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I saw the way I missed Chris in New York I mean, from the highlights. And, uh, you know, that bothered me because, uh, you know, he was hot and he can be such a big emphasis for me down the stretch. Uh, I also want Doug to understand, too, that in closing minutes like that, it's important for me to get down in scoring position and, and create a focus to where now I can find my shooters, you know, which Whitney and, and Rip are. And if I can get them in a good rhythm, that forces the defense to focus on them a little bit. And, you know, uh, right now, Chris Whitney is my John Paxson, Steve Kerr. You know, he's going to extend the defense and give me a chance to... Uh, you know, operate um, under the under the radar scheme. I felt good. You know, my legs felt good, but I, I thought it was important for us on the road. Set us, you know, set a good tone. We came off a loss in New York, where I think we played well. We just, you know, we we got you know, kind of shell shocked a little bit in the early third quarter, but. Uh, I made an emphasis to get involved early and let the guys feed off of me a little bit, and they did. You know, I, I think in the second quarter, though, we, once again, when that second team came in, you know, they let let us down a little bit with their intensity, and, and, and that's when Atlanta got back into the game. But me personally, I felt good. Seven. I'm coming. You know, I'm dunking, and I'm, I'm starting to finish at the basket, you know, which... You know, to me, all timing plays, all rhythm, you know, legs, explosiveness to the basket. I uh, got a little tired a little bit in the fourth quarter. Um, but, you know, my game is coming, you know. So, you know, the more games I play, yeah, I think the better my rhythm is going to come. Right, the first game, you play a point guard at the start. This game, you mostly play three for the and then the fourth, that put you out front. Can you talk about I went to and, and I told Doug that I probably need to go low point just to get everybody involved because I was getting a little tired, you know, but I didn't want to leave the game. And I knew that I was a threat no matter what, even with the ball in my hands. And it opened up things for, for Rip and, and some of the other guys. So, I mean, um, the difference was early in the New York game, I, you know, I tried to do that. And I never really could find my rhythm after that. You know, today I, I got off to a great start playing below the free throw line and then came out and, and got some other guys involved and was able to go back inside and create a focus and get some other guys some easy shots when, you know, when Rip came back, I mean, when C. C. Witt came back in the game. So, I mean, um, different strategy, learning experience. I think Doug is still trying to feel out how we're going to utilize either myself or other guys in the course of a 48-minute game. And, you know, tonight, he, you know, he got a good, good understanding for what this team needs to do. Don, I think Curtis. I pay attention, and um, I was I was pretty shocked that they started off with Emmanuel Davis early. Uh, you know, I don't know much about him. I just felt like I had a you know the, the advantage in the post, and it got me out of the blocks quick with a couple of easy shots. You know, in the post, I knew they were trying to think about double teaming them, but because of my size advantage, I was able to operate quickly before the double team came.
you know, and then it came with uh, Dion a little bit, and uh, they tried a lot of people, you know, and uh, as, it, as it got taller and taller, I felt like I had, you know, quicker and quicker advantages over these guys, and um, I uh, began to use that a little bit. Although Chris Crawford down the stretch played pretty well. Uh, you know, he, he's quicker than I thought. Uh, but I was a little tired too, so hopefully he doesn't get too confident. Curtis, this, uh, this hysteria that kind of follows you everywhere you go, uh, are you very aware of it? Do you ever get used to it? I'm used to it. I mean, I'm aware of it. I think uh, I'm under the microscope. I think I, I'm, I'm, some of the guys may have seen a little bit of my improvement over from game one to this game, you know, but, you know, I'm just constant. I know that I'm, I can play the game of basketball like I'm capable of playing, you know, and I know that people are going to rip me here and there because of either a bad shooting night or just I don't look like I can dunk a basketball, things of that nature. But that, that doesn't deter me from what, what I think I'm capable of doing. I will continue to improve. And, you know, when I get to a point where, you know, in a 48-minute ball game, you know, team's still going to double team me. That means I'm back. You know, and you know, teams are double teaming me now, so I'm not that old. I'm I'm not that bad off, but you know, I'm I'm be able to you know to still put up the numbers that you know, you know, you guys have been ex you know, more or less expecting, and and you know, I'm pretty sure that you, you compare you know in '98 to 2001. A couple more guys.